Hi, Water Signs. Welcome to your weekly reading for December 30th through January 5th. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. You new welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We're going to take a look at the energies for the upcoming week, 30th through the 5th. We're going to take a look at love, life, and then your advice for the week, clarified with tarot. This will be a short, quick little energy check-in. So let's see what's going on with the water signs at this time. Welcome in, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Have a happy new year, rather. So let's see what's going on with the water signs at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Love, life, and advice for the water signs. December 30th through the 5th. Okay, water signs, water signs. If you're new, you can check the description box below for the decks I'm using, uh, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, tons of stuff down there, so please feel free. All the water playlist for each sign is also below, along with the bonus playlist, so you can check that out. I'm feeling this one right here. Oh, so we have six here. And six is always about going into a more balancing healing place. And we have the King of Wands, which is fire energy, very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. So let's see what the six is. Um, I'm just going to read a little snippet here from the book. So we have clouds. This is about love now. I am dark on one side and light on the other. Conflicts and doubts I am sure to bring. You will not be able to see clearly. I will block your perception and let confusion reign. One thing I promise for sure is that I will pass because the sun always shines after the storm has passed. So some could be going through a little uh, stormy, rough time right now. But things, I mean, six is all, oh, it will pass, I feel. And that six is always about going to a better place. So it may have to do with children here. We have 13, which is four, foundation, the basis. Um, and we have the night uh, of swords energy at the bottom can be sort of like a reckless energy um, could have been a fight or an argument something to do with a child or something like that so let's see that is number 13 let's see here so we have child I am young I am new I am playful and immature I am a baby a kid or a teenager small short or tiny are other ways to describe me. So you could be, uh, for some of you, be dealing with someone who is childish. It may not necessarily be an argument about a child. For some of you, it could be, for some reason, having uh, a tough time right now arguing about children and the home and that sort of energy. Maybe there's been some reckless energy, little, you know, arguments and fighting. It's kind of a tough time right now. Um, I feel with the King of Wands, two people that is a very fiery, passionate, maybe clashing. But I feel it's an energy that will pass. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is immature in a relationship. And you could be going through a time right now, uh, not seeing eye to eye. But I feel that will pass also. So we get to the tarot. We'll see what's going on with that. So let's get what's going on in your love life. Well, not in your love life, your life. <laughs> let's see what's going on in life right now for you water signs. Thank you to everybody who's supporting me in the channel, all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading, tipped or, don or donated, um, commented, shared, all that great stuff. Thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you, thank you. So what do we have here? We have inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So this is like being in a high vibration, knowing your value, your worth, and like raising your vibration to, you know, bring you peace, calmness, tranquility kind of energy. If you like to dance, dance, whatever here, whatever you like to do that um, brings you happiness and joy, maybe time to do that. Embracing your inner, god inner goddess, god or goddess, male or female, whoever's watching this. We have Diana, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. So that's like manifesting manifesting here manifesting in high vi high vibration to keep going in that energy if you're manifesting something here so let's see whether it be career wise monetary wise relationship wise or something here whatever you are intending to do to stay focused on it um, and you will hit your mark as long as you stay in that high vibration 
Okay. So let's get your advice for the week. Your advice for the week. We've got two. I just want, okay, we'll take this one. And we have Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share the gift, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So, so this is sharing your gifts in some way, whatever they may be. Some of you do actually have gifts on the spiritual side. It's maybe time to share those gifts. And maybe this is this uh, new uh, thing you're trying to manifest. Becoming a tarot reader, creating a tarot channel, creating a spiritual business. Or if it's not that, if it's something else. Um, so you have good energy coming to you. Oh, wow, I just got this card for the uh, air signs. El Moria, Awakening Presence, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So the universe is with you here. Whatever gifts you have, you're wanting to share. I think the universe is trying to push you in that direction. So really pay attention to that. Okay, they're with you. They're supporting you. They want you to share your gifts, whatever they may be. If it's not in the spiritual uh, field, whatever it is for you, whatever you feel your gifts are, whether you craft, whether you, um, I don't know, do something creative. Okay, whatever they may be, whether it's writing, musical, or whatever here. Okay, so... Let's get some energy around this child and clouds. See what's going on in love for you uh, water signs at this time. Now, these may be just messages you need to hear right now. They may not like come full circle exactly this week. So if this doesn't make sense, you know, just take what resonates, throw away the rest. Okay, so what's going on here? So we have the devil and we have the ten of swords. Yee. So we have toxic energy here, and we have some kind of hurt and painful ending. Mm. All right, so that could be that uh, clouds here with the devil energy of like petty arguments, bickering kind of energy. Nine of wands, yeah, defending yourself, defending uh, your energy kind of. Okay, so what else is going on here? But here's the Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, things going in a better direction, so... What else here? Temperance. So again, wow, we got two cards of Sagittarius here. So I think <laughs> these are major arcana here, especially with the devil um, too. So you got three major arcana. So let's get one more. So I feel like things will be balancing out. Things will be going in a better direction. Um, let's see. Let's get one more. Knight of Swords. So there's that reckless energy again, bickering, arguing back and forth, that kind of an energy. But we have this divine wheel coming in, moving things in a better direction and having patience and peace and harmony and balance. So, but then we have all this other, this could just be like a phase. I mean, um, you're going through if people can stop, you know, being in this reckless energy, let's get another one. So I don't feel comfortable just leaving it at that hermit. Yeah, retreating, going, you know, you may need to just go in your separate cor corners here and cool off. <laughs> cool off. Ten of Wands. Yeah, laying down heavy burdens here. Wow, okay. In the tower. Wow, I'm not getting a lot of good energy with this. This may be something that passes. Uh, but we got an ending here. We got a tower moment of something crumbling down, breaking down, or ending. Some could be ending a relationship here. Maybe because somebody was just too childish. Or a relationship could come to an end because of a child. I hate to say that, but all this energy is here as the Ten of Wands laying down the burdens. The tower is here to break it down, bring it down. You know, reckless energy. People having to go in their corners to take a cool down here. Uh, the wheel is trying to come in and move this in a better direction to bring, you know, patience and balance. But there's so much this other energy around it. we got two endings here with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Being very defensive, a lot of toxic energy here. So 
this may be like an ending for some. Yeah, same with truth and clarity. That is a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity. The sort of victory. So for some, maybe you can overcome this and pass, you know, let it pass. Some of you, I don't know, may just see the truth of a situation, may decide just to end a really toxic situation. There could be children involved, maybe not, or maybe someone who is just very childish. Oh, because you could take that sword to cut away things no longer serving you. So that's the kind of energy I'm getting. All right, so let's get into here uh, the inner goddess and focused intention. So we have the world. So it's kind of ending cycle, starting new cycle, starting something new here. Death, yep, ending something. And But kind of reluctant, though, to take a leap of faith on something. Or there's a... Uh, Something's coming to an end with the death, as with the world is ending of cycles, but then there's transformation starting of new cycles, but the fool is in reverse, so not quite ready, not quite there to take this leap of faith yet. Maybe because this uh, cycle has to close out before you can start a new cycle, but it's telling you to stay in high vibration through this and to uh, keep your intentions focused. Because you are going to a better place with the Six of Swords energy. Leaving all the BS behind. Yep, moving forward. A lot of drive, ambition, balance, success, victory. Going to a more peaceful, calm place. Strength. Yeah, using all your strength, your courage, your determination, your willpower. Um, and just being strong-willed to stay using all your might and your strength to stay in that high vibration as you move forward. Though there may be a little bit of delay with that fool in reverse, or you're a little, little reluctant, but I feel like eventually once the cycle closes out and you can stop moving forward, you will. You will have success and victory, and you'll be going to a much better place. Wow, so stay focused, stay in a high vibration. Okay, so what do we have over here? Princess of Pentacles, so could be learning something new here. But then something here, a lot of abundance coming in with the Ten of Pentacles energy. A lot of uh, growth, abundance. Could be learning something new. You could be, um, could have an offer coming in that will bring you abundance. Two of Pentacles. So, you know, juggling things around what to do here. Maybe you may juggle around the idea if something comes into you or juggling around an idea uh, that you have. You know, should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? But you got the Ten of Pentacles there and the Ten of Cups. So not only being happy and joyous and fulfilled in every single way, being wealthy and abundant. Two of Wands, yeah, trying to make that decision. So you got two, two twos here are really uh, trying to make this decision and needing to make these decisions for the future. And I feel it's uh, around your uh, stability, around your abundance. And the Nine of Pentacles. So being, some of you may be single, becoming single, independent, on your own, and stable and grounded, and being financially set and take care of yourself kind of energy. And Spirit is supporting you. They are with you. They are protecting you. And you have a lot of good gifts coming into you. So I feel like it's all kind of connected here. Yeah, faith, hope, optimism, wish dreams coming true. Um, healing energy being very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy, entrepreneur kind of energy, justice coming into your life, finally getting what's fair, just, and right in your life, balance kind of energy, go-getter energy, faith, hope, optimism, healing, and divinely guided energy for you. Water signs. Wow. Well, best of luck to you, water sign, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.